man. Wow. Really, and these guys don't joke. They take it like, for, for example, for us foreigners, they give small shots like this. But for them, they take it in, in big jugs like this. I don't know if you can see it. They big jugs like this. And then, whoosh, they finish it like everything was water, man. Up, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they love, Chinese love to drink. And you know, fucking Vietnam love to drink. Every, everyone loves to, to drink. It's, it's fascinating it's when culture. you travel the world and you experience different drinking culture. Uh, but that's like one thing, you know, they got, got in common going on in every fucking country. Everyone loves to drink, <laughs> get drunk, get buzzed, sometimes get shit faced and just have a good time, have a good laugh, you know, eat some good food and, uh, and do business and make some fucking money. And they take it to the KTV, and that's where things get out of out of the hand, man. I'm yeah. gonna stop them. I'm gonna make sure else. that uh, <laughs> that we don't move towards that uh, Chinese yeah. social credit score stuff. So. That's what they want to implement here, and uh, we have to to fight against that. Yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. That's a whole other podcast we can have. But uh, let's uh, let's get back into it. Yeah. Uh, Abe, how is the product going then? Product research or my product sampling is, is going okay. I haven't actually messaged any factories yet. I'm still kind of researching which ones to message. Um, I'm All trying right. to determine. Yeah, I've been taking like, um, for example, there like I'm trying to modify the shape of the cutter that I was going to use. Mm -hmm. So I was looking for cutting related sort of things. So for example, like there was a strawberry one, the strawberry cutter, and I wanted to kind of use that as a, modify that to give it like a, cause I want it to have like a pineapple shape, um, the cutter itself so that it looks different than the other ones and it's not just like the same one. Um, how, so, how are you gonna, ba what are you gonna base the uh, modification? Is it gonna be something uh, designed that you like or based on feedback from complaints from, from the customers? It's going to be both. So modifying the actual product itself and then mm -hmm. um, also considering the type of audience that I'm going to be targeting. That's the um, most important. Yeah. So in this, so I want to make it sturdier, but also want to change up the design because right now all that is on Amazon is like the same, basically this, literally the same thing. Exactly. Um, maybe like one or two different colors, but like, that's it. And I'm like, but if yeah. I feel like if someone's trying to search for this item and they see kind of clones of each other, like mine's going to pop right away. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah. going to be like closer to, um, and it's going to kind of give, it's going to allude to like where um, the type of sushi that I'm doing comes from. So it's like a Hawaiian sushi. Nice. So I'm trying to also identify icons hawaiian icons and things like that that'll kind of represent hawaii that's very popular like just types of icons and things like that because a lot of people do talk about like in the reviews like oh i ate this whenever i lived in hawaii or i'm from hawaii and my husband likes it or my husband's from hawaii things like that so like there is like this sort of like emotional connection or mm -hmm. uh, that, that, I, that i'm trying to gather but like right now i'm trying to figure out if there's already a product that i can kind of repurpose for the cutting purpose, I guess. Kind of like how you talked about like the rugby boots and like kind of changing it up, like changing the angle, but like using an existing product to do it. So that's kind of what I'm, I've been trying to do. Cool, so you're trying to, uh, yeah, still working on product differentiation ideas, I guess, looking around Alibaba, seeing if there's something you can repurpose for the, uh, for the purpose of differentiating it and making your uh, making your product stand out, which uh, of course is uh, very important. Um, okay, I'll have it. I'll have it. If you don't have samples next, we're going to use the Chinese method. We'll post your mug on on social media <laughs> and maybe buy some billboards around Mexico City. And we'll get some in touch with some of the headhunters in Mexico, and the, it'll have a knock on your door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah a couple of go. big There's fat big big fat airy guys with a lucha libre mask coming knocking on your door <laughs> at three o'clock in the morning <laughs> something about samples is it did you order your sample yet man yeah uh grayson what's up uh what's going on Hey, how are you? 
Good, good, good. It's a beautiful day here in Bangkok, Thailand. Beautiful morning. Um, yeah, what about you? First of all, um, here's my view. Bangkok. Hi. 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 I'm First trying to be there right now. I know, I know. Everyone is. Everyone's like, oh, God, I got to get the fuck out of America. When's Thailand opening up, Riley? Where, where are you? Bali, when's it open up? When can I come? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah hopefully uh, things are, I think tourism is opening up um, August 1st. 1st of July. In Thailand, yeah. Uh, August 1st? We'll yeah, who knows? Who knows? Uh, You're saying knows July 1st, man. Come on, don't say August 1st. I will have a heart attack. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Grayson, first of all, how is how is life? How is everything? And then um, second of all, how's the product going? Oh, life's going good. Everything's going well on my end. Um, so far, the product I'm ordering is going well. Um, I'm getting a lot of feedback from the suppliers. Um, I placed one order that I should get in about, I think, either next Wednesday or Thursday. I had a little issue with um, one of the suppliers. Apparently, um, they were having difficulty uh, with their website. So that was kind of placed on hold. But then I have one more supplier that's going to um, give me a quote tomorrow. So we'll go from there and then see how that goes. Cool. Then, you already ordered uh samples and they're gonna arrive wednesday nice gonna check it out verify the quality and everything yeah see how it see how it looks and i'm just trying to get um i'm talking to one supplier right now where i'm trying to see if they have like the sample size that i need so we're just kind of going a little back and forth on that just to see which one i'm gonna like which one they have available to send but other than that, it's going over. Okay. Cool. In like a actual size of the product, like small, medium, large, or? Yes. Um. Right now we're just doing um medium and um large as of right now, and then going from there. Because they okay. um think um one supplier had mentioned that their medium is a medium and small, and then their large is like a large and extra large. So we'll see how you know it kind of fits or looks so that will kind of gauge. okay cool um anything you're uh you're struggling with or any um any questions you have or things that you're stuck stuck on um i did have one question i was wondering um based on your videos um you did mention that like you have an agency you used to do like reviews or to like i guess get your reviews up and I was wondering, like, in terms of, like, the cost, um, how much that would be um, to do that. Or, like, get, the fee, I guess. To get reviews. Yeah, to, like, get, I guess, uh, 10 reviews fast. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, that that's launch, and that will come, you know, probably in a month or so. But um, okay. just so you know, uh, I work with an agency who charges, uh, $15 per, per, per giveaway. Okay. And so what they do is they, uh, they blast your product as a promotion to their email list, which is like over 10,000 people apparently. And right. they send an email out for free after rebate. Uh, first 15 people or 20 people or 30 people, however many units you want to give away. First 30 okay. people can claim this deal. They opt in, they uh, buy your product through search, find, buy. So they search your keyword on Amazon, find your listing, order it for full price. And then the agency, uh, after they order, uh, PayPal's them the full price. And okay. their management fee is $15 per review. Uh, they handle all the follow-up and the PayPaling. Uh, you just PayPal them uh, the total amount up front. Cool. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So to give oh, away, 
to give away uh, 20 units would be what 300 bucks 300. that that yeah. should get you more than 10 reviews within two weeks okay thank you yep yep um, i believe amazon also has a program like that too yeah they have a, what's called the Ur amazon early reviewer program they yeah they they it kind of guarantee you like five reviews for like what um, 60 bucks or something like that so basically $15 a piece yeah uh, I believe it's three reviews and uh, okay, I also yeah. recommend uh, doing that um, yeah. if <clears throat> if you're if you're fairly if you're fairly uh, certain that it shouldn't get bad reviews then then go ahead with that um, uh -huh. because the worst thing that can happen with that is <clears throat> you get negative reviews from those people. So some people, they like to hold off on the Amazon early reviewer program because those are like actual real customers. And if you're unsure about the product or something, then you get bad reviews from two of those people, then that can be quite bad. And whereas if you do, if you do these rebates, these, uh, uh giveaways via rebate, it's um, mostly five star review uh, because okay. yeah, that's just, that's just how it is. But that's launch and uh, we're not close to launch yet. That's still, that's still uh, oh, yeah. four weeks away. So um, but yeah, if you have any questions about launch, feel free to post it in the uh, Facebook group and, and group chat, but okay, cool. Sounds good. You already got samples ordered. So that's great. And uh, you're negotiating with supplier on the product and nailing it down. So sounds like you're making progress. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Javier, Javier. Yep. What's up? Uh, first of all, how's, uh, how's life in uh, Tuscaloosa and everything? And then uh, how's the product going? Well, life in Tuscaloosa is a little boring, but it's okay. The weather is okay. Cool. The swimming pool that. and having fun and all these things. Okay, cool. Well, about the product, uh, my partner already submitted the application to the Amazon seller account. So we are still, still wait, waiting for the answer from Amazon. And well, the second point is that I already uh, ordered a sample in China but I'm working with another two suppliers because I'm, I'm interested in another, well, in the same product, but from another suppliers. Good. Uh, uh, well, because we have to check the material and we are focused on um, differentiation, on the differentiation of the product. So we would like to check uh, the same product, but from another supplier. Perfect. And that's it. And we are focused, focused as well on the packaging of the product because that is so important, I think. Mm -hmm. And the logo as well. Yeah. Because we want the logo on every item. And that's it. And it is taking a lot of time. Yep. Okay. Um, what is what is taking the most time everything everything i think that the worst part is to talk with the chinese suppliers because the language barrier so yeah get them to get them on on wechat as soon as possible this way you can you can type in english and they can translate and vice versa sorry repeat please uh, get them to, uh, to to communicate on WeChat, the app. WeChat? Okay. Yeah, which is a Chinese app like WhatsApp. But uh, the beautiful thing is that on WeChat, you can, you can write in, in English and Spanish and whatever language you want. And then the Chinese oh, really? can, just, can just translate it into Chinese and vice versa. When they, can, they can write in Chinese and you can translate it in your, in your language. For example, if your setup is in English, it's going to be translated in English. If it's in Spanish, it's Spanish and so on and so forth. Yeah. So okay. and that's a platform that they, they feel the Chinese feel more comfortable because that's a native, you know, uh, platform that's 
you cannot live in China without having WeChat. It's impossible because you can do everything on it. And I, I did put, I did post. Uh, uh, San Diego is just as nice. It's really time, nice time. It's getting a little hotter now. Yeah. Uh, but for me, I don't know. Is this still recording? Can I, can you turn on the recording? Because I want to just to talk. About can I resume recording? Yes, I can. With as many parts of the business as you can, so you can protect yourself. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, it's all about you and your money. Everybody's going to try to, you know, I'm not saying everybody's out to get you, but some will be. Mm -hmm. And it's our responsibility to, to educate ourselves so we can protect ourselves. So yep. that's a great point. So thank you for bringing that out, uh, Javier. Guys, spend a, spend a half an hour to, to understand and read up on IncoTerms. I will, put, I will put a link on, or you can just Google it, man. I will just put the, 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 the term here and you can just search it for it. Yep. Yeah, just read up on it. Get familiar yeah. with the terms. So let me put speaker brief. So yeah, uh, I guess, yeah, if you were, if a friend were to ask you about like 90 day FBA, what's the deal with 90 day FBA? Um, yeah, what's your, what's your review and takeaway of it so far? Like, yeah, what would you say? Who goes first? You go first. Yeah, go ahead, Abe. You're on, you're on the stage. <laughs> I feel like I need to think about what I want to say first. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm in that same boat too, I think. <laughs> don't overthink it, guys. Just come whatever comes from the heart. Uh, Grace Ann, yeah, go ahead and uh, go ahead and go. It's it's uh, it's recording, so go ahead and share share your your honest thoughts. Yeah, go ahead. Well, when I started out, at first I was like, okay, I was all excited. But definitely going into the FBA program, I can definitely see where it's a lot of work, but I really like how you guys take the time to like, you're very patient with us, and then you really take the time to go through the details step by step. And even through like the worksheets and everything, the videos, they're very, very thorough. So I really like that. You can always like, refer back or like if you ask a question and you kind of you had an answer you can always like look back at the videos or read the notes i really like the way how you put together the whole program like you really really took time to like go into details and like really explain everything i mean it's a lot of material but i mean as you know as time goes on i haven't like read or listened to all the videos but as time goes on, I will like go more into depth and like really, really like look into everything, but everything's like very thorough, very clear. And I really like that about the program. Awesome. Thank you. Glad to hear that you're liking the, uh, the tutorial videos and um, that you're, that you're feeling good about everything so far. Awesome. <laughs> Appreciate it. You're welcome. One question to, to you, Grayson. Have you taken any other similar courses before? I have not. This is actually okay. my first one. Okay. This is my first one. Okay. I was about to ask you if how would you compare it, but in that case, that's fine. That doesn't apply. So that's good. I would compare it to, um, honestly, I started to think about that too when I started the program. I kind of compared it to like college or like, you know, classroom um where you know you have a lecture and they give you the notes or everything but it's not like you just get the notes and they just like throw you in and like okay go you know find the product or kind of like at, at first that's kind of what i sort of was expecting and i was gonna have to be rum rumbling around <laughs> but um it's really nice that you guys like take the time and patient like just really sharing your knowledge and information it's not just about like the money so it's like it's way way past that and i really i really appreciate it well, welcome happy to hear that awesome happy to hear uh what about anyone else uh, want to share you want to share share their thoughts now yeah uh, abe you're right you're ready to go yeah. Don't ever think it. You want to you want to share your your thoughts. Yep. Cool. Go ahead. 
Yeah, so my thoughts on the course, like if someone were to ask me like how's going, um, or what do you think so far, I would say, you know, that I would recommend everyone to do it, like to be um I for the longest time and I decided twenty twenty was a year where I was gonna just take every opportunity that came my way and I'm happy that I did. Um I am learning I have learned so much already just from reviewing the course material, from these group conversations that we have every week. Um, I really like that you two are here for supporting us and for really guiding us. I appreciate all the extra sort of things that you do as well, like the webinars. Um, so it's a lot more than I, I expected, um, like in terms of value. Um, it's not something easy to do this um, FBA slash um, thing, I guess, this sort of venture. Uh, there's a lot of sort of moving parts. There's a lot of details. There's a lot of vocabulary. And, um, but I feel like the course does cover it all. Um, and if it doesn't, you know, like we, it'll come up during the group chat or, you know, it's like y'all are proactive on sort of following up and providing whatever is missing and more. Cool. Have you taken any previous courses on anything else similar before? Nothing for FBA. I've taken other like online courses for different things. Um, I'm into, like I've been into e-commerce, so I've taken other e-commerce courses before um but there are definitely some or some you know so marketing courses or things like that um that i've taken also just for because i uh, that's what i do but um i really like that fba is like sort of a small group setting you know like it's kind of like in college where you take that giant class with like 200 people and like you don't really you know it's like you take the class but you don't have any one-on-one -on -one time with the professor um and here you do get that one-on-one -on -one time um, so I really like that. And then it's also like, I guess, more proactive than college because like in college, like, yeah, if you don't do the work, like you still paid for it, but like, it's like, no one's there to hold you accountable, but I feel like you guys do hold us accountable also. Great. Thank you. Awesome. Sweet. Holding you accountable by sending you Mexican mafia to your door if you don't have samples ordered by next Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> we hold you accountable through violence, but it's okay. It's not violence, it's tough love. Come on, Riley. You gotta relabel that properly. I don't know. <laughs> I'm joking. I know. Uh, Wyatt, what about you? Uh, if not, we can. We can ask you another time, but if you want to go, feel free. Uh, sure. Uh, so off the top of my head, I think things that I have to say is that I have a couple friends doing FBA currently, and they've definitely helped me along the way, but bugging them 24 seven with like a step by step is not something that I want to do and not something that they want to do. Um, so having this and the, the step-by-step -step is super valuable to me. Um, and just kind of the way that I've learned, uh, e-commerce or SEO or anything that I'm, I'm doing now has always been through some sort of course or kind of, um, one-on-one -on -one or just doing it myself. But, um, for, for this specifically, yeah, it's, it's nice having the, the one-on-one -on -one plus the, the course where, like you might have friends doing the same thing or doing a, a similar model, but uh, bugging them 24 seven is definitely something you not want to do and definitely something they don't want to spend their time doing. So I think it's, it's valuable in that way. Sure. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Um, yeah, I guess, how would you compare uh, this kind of course setup to other courses you've taken? Yeah. I mean, you definitely don't get the, uh, situations we're in like right now, like on a, on a group call with 
course creators, right? So you, you get the course and they might be like super in depth, but then the, the questions you have that might be small while going through them are kind of just like lost in translation and you might just kind of move on or have to do the digging yourself where in this situation, that's, that's not the case, right? You kind of have someone to rebound stuff off of whether it's in this call or in the, the Facebook group or just like the messenger chat we're all in. So I guess that would be the, the comparison there. Sweet. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Got the sound bites. <laughs> Javier, you're next. Are you ready, bro? Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, okay. I, I'm I don't shy. Feel yeah, I'm shy. Yeah. It's okay. We're all shy. We're all friends here. <laughs> all right. Okay. No, no worries, worries, brother. No worries, brother. Um, appreciate it. Oh, Brandon, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Cool. Uh, how are you feeling? Uh, would you be down? If not, totally no worries. Yeah, I'm down. Cool. Um, would you be able to turn your video on? Yeah, let me turn it on. It says unable to ask. Some Hold on, it says unable to. Impossible. Yeah. Privacy camera. Take your time. No worries. <clears throat> Pause this recording. Is your recording? All right, yeah, um, Brandon, yeah, cool, yeah. What would you, I guess, what would you say um, to a friend, your kind of uh, summary of uh, 90 Day FBA so far? It's, uh, I would tell them to join it. It's very thorough. Uh, you guys are on top of the Trello. You guys are on top about having everything organized. The videos are very comprehensive. Uh, and if we have any questions, we hop on a call once a week and get feedback. And so and the, the calls are extremely valuable. Because uh, we get we, like today's call was was amazing. Uh, thank you. Um, but that's what I would tell them. Uh, you, awesome. There's nothing like this course because every other course I've taken, they kind of just give you the course and let you kind of figure it out. But this one, it's like they you guys are really taking us by the hand and you guys are sh making sure we we are successful. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was very important for us in the beginning. Yeah, we wanted to be different in this way. So glad you appreciate that and you're seeing value from it. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. That's kind of the, that's kind of the idea, you know, make it into like uh, make it into an Amazon school, um, you know, and the, the vision payment and I were talking is like, you know, have this big Academy, you mm -hmm. know, Amazon is the core, but like, you know, we can have like other side, you know, courses on, you know, Facebook ads or, uh, you know, freaking influencer marketing or branding or anything else. Yeah. Yeah. Other, other, other Sales types funnels, of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe even do conferences in the future, you know, like physical meetups and yeah, like a, a school, but one that actually makes you money. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. Abe, what have you, uh, you're the only one that's uh, been doing the weekly one-on-one uh, -on -one VIP calls. What have you, what's your kind of uh, review and takeaway with the, uh, the weekly one-on-one, um, -on -one, one-hour calls uh, in addition to the group calls? What's your kind of uh, takeaway there? For the one-on-ones, for the -on I would say that um, it really does help to kind of go, kind of have someone that can, like, I can bounce off ideas or like can review my product we can like sort of brainstorm um if i have any particular questions like i know that you can answer them or we can investigate them so i think like for me um i needed the extra push to kind of be more um like i wanted to really succeed and i wanted to give myself more uh opportunity to do so so i just took the opportunity to to try your one-on-one -on -one also. And I've, I really enjoyed it. I, I really appreciate the one-on-one -on -one time. It helps me a lot, I feel like. Um, and yeah. Cool. Awesome, thanks. 
the sound bite there. <clears throat> the other one in, in VIP is, is Elo. So I've just been doing my one-on-ones with him uh, in case you're curious. So I, I guess he's just choosing just to do the one-on-one uh, with me. And, and uh, but, so that's, that's totally, totally fine. And his choice, the, the group call is, you know, uh, double. So he's just cho- choosing to do the one-on-ones uh, just in case you guys are curious. So I've been doing- How my- is he doing? My weekly one-on-one with him. He's going, he's slow. He's in last place. <laughs> okay. Uh, because as I mentioned before, he works at the fulfillment center oh. um, six days a week. He's doing college classes um, and he's doing uh, DoorDash. Oh, wow. So two jobs and class and he's doing this FBA thing on the side. So he's in last place. He still, he still does not have his... Uh, product chosen but but uh but i'm on him every week so yeah so we're just uh doing our thing on the on the private calls that's awesome for him yeah yep yep uh okay cool that was almost uh 90 minutes but i appreciate that guys and uh yeah, yeah. <sighs> we'll send a recap in the chat basically uh week six we're in the middle of it by week seven everyone should definitely have samples ordered if you've only ordered from one supplier order from another one just you know do it do it right um do it by the book and then uh, as always uh post your questions in the in the chat good stuff yeah guys any last minute questions No more questions. I got to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I got to go sleep. I'm, I'm a zombie right now. Yeah. Later, guys. <laughs> All right. Bye, Bye guys, guys. Sam. Take it easy, guys. Ciao, ciao. Bye, guys. See ya. Later. Uh-huh.